But here is the one thing. Last night, I told you that we were on the road to socialism. Some comedy, you know, coming your way. Well, tonight, oh boy, this might not go well. When I finish this story, some may believe we're on the road to the Hitler Youth. Here's the latest example, and buckle up, because uh, if you thought last night was bumpy, well, this one's going to be a roller coaster ride. One of my radio listeners gave me this exclusive story just a couple of days ago. I want to play in a minute here the voice of Al Gore. He is speaking to a bunch of teens and preteens at a youth conference on global warming, or as he's calling it now, climate change. There are some things about our world that you Yeah. I'm going to play more of this tape for you in a minute and introduce you to the 12 year old who was there recording it because her dad told her to. Her dad will be with us too. But what is the point of all this? Well, as I see it, as a father of four, you're probably a little like me. You're working hard to raise your kids right, and it seems like everything's stacked against you. In many cases, both you and your spouse are working, and some are working two jobs. You get home, and you're tired, man. You've been dealing with a screaming boss all day, an economy that's falling apart. Everybody's freaking out, wondering if they're even going to have a job next week. And you got a government that is out of control. You look at it on TV, and you're like, what the hell are they doing now? And you're doing it all without any help. In fact, I think you're doing it against everything that's been set up to make your life oh so easy. And now you got the former vice president of the United States and a Nobel Prize winner looking your kid in the eye and telling him, you know what, you know things that your, your dad and mom don't. We'll try to beat that mom and dad. What, what do you know? I mean, you tell me what a 12-year-old knows instinctively that an adult doesn't. I mean, except being able to play Guitar Hero. And if it is true, then well, why didn't we appoint a 12-year-old to lead the Treasury? I mean, they know things instinctively. You know, we didn't need Tim Geithner. Or how about, how about we appoint a 12-year-old as a new climate czar? Why is it that our Constitution says that the president has to be 35? I'm sure he's trapped in some of that old thinking. Wouldn't, shouldn't we just make sure that at least the vice president is 13? The government and its friends are indoctrinating our children for the control of their minds, your freedom, and our choice, and our future. It must stop. Because history, when properly taught, has already shown us where it leads. This is what Nazi Joseph Goebbels said about the Hitler Youth. If such an art of active mass influence through propaganda is joined with a long-term systematic education of our nation, and if both are conducted in a unified and precise way, the relationship between the leadership and the nation will always remain close. Well, what's next? If mom and dad decide to keep the temperature above 72, should our gore youth report mom and dad? Should they also report spankings and groundings every time daddy comes home and watches that evil Fox News? Environmentalists, along with everybody else looking to promote an agenda, understand what the drug dealer understands instinctively. And he's not 12. And that's this. Get kids hooked when they're young and you will have a customer for life. When I was your age and the Civil Rights Revolution was... Uh unfolding and we kids ask our parents and and their generation um explain to me again why it's okay for the law to officially discriminate against people because of their skin color and when our parents generation couldn't answer that question that's when the law started to change there are some things about our world that you know that older people don't know. Why would that be? Well, in a period of rapid change. You tell me how you can get 3,000 kids sitting there listening to this where he says, don't listen to your parents. He, he cleared it up later in the speech. He was like, I'm not saying that your parents don't know, but I'm just saying that adults don't know things that you do. They're stuck in old, in old thinking. So it's a very subtle jab to the parents. Where is it? 
He said it in more speeches than this. This is the first time a lot of people have ever heard this. How can you get 3,000 right. kids into a room, have the former vice president say this, and nobody is covering it? Nobody. I'm not a crook.